Hi, I'm Jason and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to rip a DVD to your PC using a program called Handbrake. Now, previously I did a, uh, a similar video using VLC and that seemed to be quite popular, although some people did have some problems with synchronization and such using VLC. So I'm going to show you a different method using a program called Handbrake. But unfortunately, we can't use the very latest version of Handbrake, um, but there is a version we can use that we can tweak in order to get around the digital rights management and encryption that we find on DVDs today. So let's open up a browser. I'm going to use Google Chrome and we'll just type in Handbrake and we'll do a search for that. And there it is there, handbrake.fr. All the links, etc., will be put down in the description below. So let's go into Handbrake. And as you can see here, we've got the version 1.2.2. Now, I have tried this and I can't get it to get around the encryption on DVDs that I own when I try and uh, digitize them. So let's have a look in Downloads. And we can see here we've got Archive Old Release. So let's go in there and we can see all the different versions prior to 1.2.2 and the one that we're looking for, and believe me, I've tried all of these, is this version 0.9.9, .9, which was the last version to support Windows XP. So what we want to do, as I'm on a, a, a Windows 64-bit system, I'm going to download the 64-bit GUI.exe and there we can see it. Uh, in the bottom left hand corner this set. So if I click it, it will start to install and we'll just agree and say install, choose all the defaults and then finish. And we can see on our desktop, we now have a handbrake icon. Now, one of the re there are a few reasons why you'd want to rip a DVD. Obviously you're allowed to do this if you own the original DVD and it belongs to you. But there are a few re reasons to do it. I mean, the one that I tend to rip DVDs for is when I go on holiday once or maybe twice a year if I'm lucky. And rather than sit on the plane for a couple of hours, uh, I'd prefer to be entertained by um, digitizing one of my movies that I haven't seen or maybe haven't seen for quite a long time to my Android pad. Uh, and my wife's the same with her iPad. So we can uh, rip DVDs to uh, a digital format that we can play on any device basically. Another reason might be that you might want to back up your um, original films as a safeguard or just to create a digital library and then pack those up and put them up in the loft somewhere. So once we have our handbrake downloaded we now need to go and tweak it by adding a DLL file which is a dynamic link library file I've got the link to where to get this here, but again, don't worry, it's going to be in the description. So I'm just going to copy that and I'll open up a web browser again and we'll paste it in here. And it takes you to the Lifehacker website and we can see here how to rip a DVD to your computer. But what we're interested in here is that there is a particular file um, so here you can see for 32-bit systems and here for 64-bit systems, well mine's a 64-bit so I'm going to select that there and then it says this type of file can harm your computer, well I know it's safe, I'm going to keep it. And there is our, our DLL file. So I'm going to uh, show in folder, so let's go to the downloads folder to where that um, downloaded to and I'm just going to rename it. I am literally just going to take out this hyphen and a number two and press enter. Now the next thing I need to do is copy this to the root directory of Handbrake. And the easiest way on Windows to find the root directory of the Handbrake application and with any application is to right click the icon and then open file location. So this opens up where Handbrake lives on the computer, which is under C, Program Files and Handbrake. And I am literally going to copy this and paste it in there. 
and this will allow us to get around the encryption on our DVD. So let's close all these windows, our job is done here and I'm going to launch Handbrake and the first thing I'm going to do when it launches is I'm going to go to Source and I've already got my DVD um, in the CD tray on my computer so there it is on the E drive and it's the film the 300 so then it's going to go and scan the source so we wait a few seconds until it scans all and indexes everything and when it's done scanning up here we see the source the 300 which is the name of my movie and the title here is 1 hour 51 so if I drop down this box just to give you an idea of what it's actually indexed we can see that it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to ten tracks. Each one uh, has got a different amount of time. So this could be intervals in between each thing. If you were putting a series DVD in there, then you would expect to see several of these at 44 minutes or something, depending on you know season one, episode one, two, three, four, and five. But when it's a movie, we're looking for the highest amount of time. So I know number one is one hour, 51 and 50 seconds. So that is the movie. And it has selected that by default. Now, the next thing we want to do is select the destination of where we want to rip this DVD to. So I'm just going to say browse. Uh, I'm going to call it 300 because that's the name of the movie. And I'll leave it as the desktop. So let's just save that. And we can see it's going to save it in an MP4 format. So now we've done that. Over on the right hand side, this is where we can decide what sort of device we're going to play this back on. So if I were to play this movie back on my computer, then I would probably use regular normal, which is already selected here, or maybe high profile. If I was going to put it on an Android tablet, I would select that. And if I was going to put it on an iPad, I'd select that or an iPhone. So you get the idea. These are presets for the devices that you're going to play it on. I'm going to leave it on normal because I'm just going to demonstrate this playing back on my computer. And the next thing left to do really is just click the start button. So once you click start, you'll see down in the bottom left hand corner, it starts to prepare to encode. It will give you a percentage of how far it is through it, the frames per second, the average frames per second, and the time remaining, and the elapsed time that it's currently been running for. So this is going to take quite a while. This is 29 minutes and whatever seconds. So we're going to use the magic of technology to fast forward time and get to the end result. So Handbrake has finished um, digitizing our DVD to our desktop and we can see the movie file over on the left of the desktop screen here and if I right click and go into properties and then look at the details well one thing obviously we look at the general tab we can see it's 1.33 gigabytes and if I look at the details we see it's 720 by 428 25 frames a second so let's double click it to open it just to make sure it works skip through yeah so I think uh, that's a success so now I can view this on any device I want um, obviously if you've chosen Android tablet or iPad then the file may be smaller and also bear in mind the amount of time it takes to encode a video using handbrake I've been using an Intel i5 processor, so you can expect it to probably be a lot quicker if you're on an i7 or maybe a lot slower if you're on an AMD processor. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching.